going on everyone this is a change of scenery for you guys i'm pretty sure you guys kind of got tired of me recording in my uh, furnace room we are in my home office right now i'm having a issue with my canon rebel t3i camera the problem is when i go to record a video the video stops i hit the record button and it just automatically shuts down <laughs> let's take a look at this problem so check it out check it out guys this is my canon rebel t3i camera she is a beauty i tell you i tell you let's go ahead and turn our canon camera on all right she's on this keyboard back a little bit and as you can see we have a image of a speaker a focus or anything like that it's right now it's on manual focus but what we're going to do is press the record button here just to show you guys so as you can see we have our red light that says recording and we also have another red light and then we have the bar here and as you can see movie recording has stopped automatically so let's give that another shot let's give it another shot we're going to press the record button okay so that says recording, got the line, and then that's also saying movie recording has stopped. So guys, what I believe we should do is format our card. But before I do that, what I want to do is back up anything that's on this camera. What I'm gonna do is select menu, and we're gonna browse over. And I'm going to go to format. And we're going to continue. We're going to go ahead and format this camera. So the SD card has been formatted. Give it a shot. Let's go ahead and press record. So we got the record. And I, uh, did it again. This time it was quicker, but it did it again. So let's try that one more time. move it around now all right so hmm what else could the issue be let's take a look at the SD card so let's go ahead and turn it off all right, and we're gonna open up our SD card we'll go ahead and pull this like that remove the SD card All right, guys, so what we have here is a PNY Performance 32 gig SD card. Uh, it says it's a class four. This is an old SD card that I had since um, I first purchased my, hmm, I don't know how long it's been since I first purchased my uh, Fuji camera, but it's it's been a, it's been a long time, uh, more than five years, I, I believe or less i don't know guys I, honestly i don't remember call um so i had purchased this card uh i believe from our micro center um and it was for my fuji uh camera uh which you know it, it worked but i believe the speed for this sd card is not enough for our canon camera so what i have here is a sand disc ultra uh, this is a micro SD card, which is 64 gigs. Judging by the circle, it looks like it's a class 10 card. So we're going to insert that into our Canon camera. Judging by the two cards, as you can see, the card on the right, it's much smaller than the card on the left. What we're going to use is a micro SD card adapter. So that way we can insert the micro SD card. So this is our micro SD card adapter. So this should just go like this. Now that we got the card installed, let's put it in the camera.
Now that we have that installed, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same step. We're gonna format this card and then try it again. Let's turn our camera on. I reseated the micro SD card into the actual adapter card and then I reset it into our actual camera. Let's see what happens. We're gonna select menu and we're gonna go to format and we're going to select okay. So we're gonna select okay. All right, so now it's been formatted. So now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and press record and let's see what happens so I'm gonna hit record to give us time I'm not seeing anything it's it's still doing it it still says it's recording I'm trying to focus it and not drop the camera looks like we're still recording of course I can you know dial it in and do some uh, additional settings to make it look much better but you know that's where we currently are at right now all right so what we're gonna do is press this button again and we're gonna go play and press play let's see what we got let's see if we can fast forward still learning guys I don't know how to fast forward but just judging by what we're currently seeing right here we were able to figure out what was wrong with our camera not recording and it has to do with everything with SD card compatibility class 4 SD card is not compatible so it looks like that class 10 card was compatible more than likely uh what it all boils down with is just just the camera quality um the sd card that we have here um is just is not able to handle the speed demand compared to what we got in here hopefully that makes sense to you guys basically you know try to format if that doesn't work then try a different uh class type of card i'm not saying that anything is wrong with p and y performance pretty much referring to that just the class of the cards may not be compatible because it'll be the same thing with this um, we got a sand disc here and that's a class 4 8 gigs this may not be enough speed all right guys i hope this video has been helpful to you guys it's been definitely a learning experience for me today i was able to troubleshoot and resolve my issue with my camera stop recording which when i would press record it would just automatically stop. And it was just blowing my mind because I'm just like, oh, please don't tell me I bought a camera that I can't record from. But I can take photos, but I can't record from. Ah, oh. But um, yeah, I was able to troubleshoot that issue, found a resolution. It works perfectly fine. And guess what? I didn't spend any money. Didn't spend any money uh, because I had a old micro i wouldn't say old but i had a spare micro sd card laying around the house um and i popped it in the camera and it worked it worked after you know we did a we did a format but it works <laughs> man i tell you i'm excited to actually plug this up into my computer and see how well the video quality is going to be that i do not have a SD card reader on my desktop computer. Now, if you have a laptop, some laptops, they have a SD card reader in front. And what I'm referring to is here. That is your SD card reader slot. And basically what you can do is you can take your SD card and insert it into the slot here and your laptop be able to retrieve the data off the SD card. You can take that data, migrate it to a USB hard drive, and then take it to 
your computer quick tip you know if you guys have a desktop and have a laptop you know laying around that has a sd card reader you know just use your laptop transfer the data from the laptop to your desktop and continue to do your productivity work don't forget to comment like and subscribe and please don't forget that if you have any questions or any recommendations or you know share your tips um with me what problems that you had with your camera and you know how you were able to address those issues because me i'm just an it professional that wants to point and shoot and i want to learn based off of my experience um such as my experience of you know when i experience an issue start troubleshooting the issue start doing some research and then you know identify a solution you know i want to live and learn